Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So as of today, right now, gyms in California have shut down for lockdown. I don't know which one this is now. Lockdown two, lockdown three. Anyway, I came prepared. So I've been sitting on some gym stuff for a while and I haven't set it up yet because we had access to gym. Now that that's gone, it's time to set up the at-home gym. So I'm out here on the rooftop. We don't get very many rainy days here, so I'm okay to put the stuff up here and I can just kind of take care of it, make sure I towel it off if there's a day where it does rain. And we should be good. It should be able to withstand the weather pretty well. But the plan is all back here, I'm going to go pick up flooring right now today at Dick's Sporting Goods and a bench and the rest of the stuff we have downstairs. So I'm gonna go pick it up. We're gonna bring it up here. We're gonna start building this. Cart is filled. It's time to go grab it. And so I'm super impressed with Dick's Sporting Goods. They had a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's probably because I'm catching this early since today's the first day of lockdown. They had a bunch of stuff in stock. Only one thing that I ordered, they said they couldn't fulfill. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can pick up a different thing there. It was like a weight tree for the plates themselves. But, dude, I'm super happy. It's kind of like, one second. It's like treasure hunting or something. Like you're <laughs> in this mad rush to see what you can get before it sells out. All right. So I think I just go here, check in online. Summer shredding mask. I'm not wearing any other mask than this one. All right, we're checked in. I'll update you guys when we have the stuff in the car. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, probably not. And I'm all strapped in up here. But back behind me, we've got a bench, some really heavy duty padding because I don't want to like mess up my roof. Um, and because it's on the roof, I have to be super careful with like moving weights around and stuff. So I'm not gonna be dropping my dumbbells or like ditching squats or anything. But even then, I want to make sure it's like extra padded so I'm not shaking the building. Now we've got all this secure, it's time to get home and get this setting up because we are losing light. So I will probably be doing half of this setup in the dark, but it's okay, we've got some lights up there and uh, we'll make the best of it. Okay, so I hearted the Facebook group, so I thought... Okay, so I'm about a quarter of the way through lugging all this up. This is definitely gonna be my workout today. I think I got about 500 pounds in plates, and then a bench, a squat rack, two 45 pound bars, and I have two 90 pound dumbbells I have to get up here. I'm feeling it. But, oh, and all the pads, too, all the padding. So, I am going to get it all up here and set it up so we can get a little product shot so you can see exactly what we're building for the gym. I'll link as much of it as I can down below too in case you guys want to try to go grab some. But I'm sure even by the time this video goes up, it'll be very hard to get any of this, especially for me. I actually ordered these weight plates back when the first round of Corona hit. No, it was more like the second round. I ordered it when I came out here in like middle of the summer. And uh, it took, I think, two and a half months for it to get here. So if you are just ordering this stuff now, you have to understand it will be months before it gets to you. Um, but if you do have some things that like you'll see here, you can adjust any of the workouts that I'm going to do to be band specific, band only, body weight only, dumbbell only. So we're going to make it work with what we got, but I'm going to go grab the rest of that stuff and get it all staged up here so we can kind of start eyeballing it. And I think the first thing we're going to do is set up the floor mats. I think I've got enough for the floor. We might have to cut them um, to kind of fit some of the areas. but. First things first, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's get the rest of those weight plates up. The light is starting to fade, so I wanted to show you guys this really quickly before it gets too dark. I am going to keep building uh, throughout the night, I think, and uh, bring a light up here so we can do a reveal at the end. But this is what we've got so far. Let me just walk you through the components real quick. So right here, all of our flooring. I have no idea if I have enough. Um, I just bought what they had. <laughs> And uh, that's gonna go all throughout here, kind of up to the staircase, and just cover this area so that if we drop anything, hopefully it doesn't break this, this tile. Um, all of these bars you're seeing right here, that is going to be the squat rack. Um, you can see the bars back there, this bar right here, and then here we have about 500 pounds in plates. These are the clips, the clamps, and all the screws and stuff to put all of this rogue equipment together. 
Over here we have our two adjustable dumbbells uh, that's going to serve as you know kind of all of our accessory work. And then over here we have our bench. It's adjustable bench that we're going to set up. We can use it in the squat rack, out of the squat rack, and then a camera. All right, wish me luck. We're off. Worry way too much. Got a policy. Didn't bring me luck. Just the honesty. Now it's all on me. If I'm gonna win. Oh, I'm just gonna get up. It rains down on me. All the phone calls I'm ignoring. See, I'm a mess. Just trying to guess my way through this. Just don't get enough of me. All right, so it's a little dark, but as you can see, the corner is set up. Let me try to get a better angle of it. So we've got two barbells, squat rack, that can also be like a bench press rack, our adjustable bench, adjustable dumbbells, bands, and about 500 pounds of plates. Now, if that wasn't enough, I'm also going to be getting an attachment that goes across the top here. That way I can link up the TRX to it allow us to do some pull-up movements and then I'm gonna hook up a little cable box thing to it as well to allow us to do cable movements and then the flooring here I'm gonna extend out this way so I wasn't exactly sure how much to get I measured it out and I had a rough idea in my head of what it would look like so I got just a little bit for the corner and now I can definitely see like I want to bring it out a little bit in front of the uh, I want to bring it out a little bit in front of the rack and much more to the sides so that we can actually have two people working at once up here and then who knows, I might get some mirrors and some other stuff. We'll have to see. But so far, I think this has turned out great. I'm gonna come back to it in the morning to show you guys in the daylight because obviously it's like super dark right now. It's hard to tell, but I love the look of this, super dope. Hopefully we'll get some custom lighting up here as well so that when I do film and do stuff at night, you guys can actually see it. Good morning, friends. It is the next day. Starting the day off right, got a little banana. I like to start my day with some sparkling water. So I'll have about two of these right when I wake up, which is about 24 ounces. Um, and then I'll have another 28 ounces in my shaker cup of some BCAs. Of course, of course, of course, we have our coffee in our Pooh Bear mug. In fact, let me, let me bring my consultant in real quick. <sighs> All right. Our vital team member Pooh is here. We're gonna have him sit in on this conference. It is currently currently 2:45 a.m. So a little bit before the sun comes up. So I can't show you the gym just yet, but I wanted to pop on and say hi. Uh, I wake up this early because right now a lot of my team who is helping me with design is across the world. Um, so they're up right now and if I get up early, I can be able to get in contact with them and we can collaborate a little bit uh, Before their day's over and then a lot of my clients on the East Coast who get up and do their workouts early at like six or seven um, It is my two to three in the morning So if I get up now if they've got questions and stuff I can be online to answer those and it just gets me a jump start on my day now I'm not gonna sit around and pretend like I do this every day. I'll do this maybe two or three times a week um, but for the most part, I am if I'm not getting up at this time, I am going to bed somewhere around this time. Which is funny because one of the main reasons why I quit my corporate job and started this was because I wanted more flexibility with my hours. And uh, I got that. It just made me more flexible to work more hours, I guess. Oh boy. Pooh's, Pooh's not having it, dude. Pooh's slumped. I am going to get to work, have some breakfast. And then as the sun comes up, we'll go and we'll see what the upstairs gym looks like actually in the light. Alrighty guys, got the hair cut and I waited, I was patient. I waited until it was the perfect lighting out, golden hour to show off the gym. So let me take you guys around. I'm sitting right now on the adjustable bench. So here it is in all its glory behind me. Let me walk you through some of the stations. You have your squat rack over here. This thing doubles as a cable machine that I'm working on right now. So far we only have one cable, so I can only go from high to low. And on top of that, the cable is mounted on a bar right now because I don't have the connecting piece to my Rogue platform yet. But 
It's all in the works, so the cables will only get better as we add more cables to it. We'll be able to go not only from high to low, but also from low to high for some curls, for some low rows, stuff like that. But for right now, it's great for triceps and back. Um, again, it's a squat rack, it's adjustable. You can do with it whatever you want. So I'm talking bench, rack pulls, squats, and the floor padding around it is fantastic. You will notice there's like one square missing over here, and that's because the pads that I initially got are like super high quality and I thought I was getting the same ones, but they're a little bit cheaper and I was like, ah, oh, maybe they're not a deal. I was wrong, you never get good stuff for cheaper. So they don't quite fit into the other pads. So in order to make this whole thing work, I have to remove one pad in the middle because they condense so much that like the one pad, there's no way it would ever fit. Over in the corner here, I found the way the sun rises. This area gets sun first, so I want the plates here so that the morning dew dries quickly. I also have towels that I throw over top of them every night along with the adjustable dumbbells because I don't want those rusting up and becoming a kind of like a headache. You know, I put a decent amount of money, that's probably what we put the most money into is the plates and the dumbbells. So I wanna make sure that I'm responsible and that they don't rust and degrade too quickly. And that's it for the gym, guys. So let me give you one more pan around before we sign off for this video. All of our bands, all of our equipment, our rack, two bars, an adjustable bench, a cable system, adjustable dumbbells that go up to 90, and then up to around 500 pounds in weight plates, a working sink and grill, our towels to towel off, a little area for our tripod so we can film all of the fun that we're gonna have up here. Of course, who can forget this view? That is the ocean right there, if you can't tell from the camera. You cannot beat it. I'm super, super excited to bring you guys a ton of workouts from up here. I think I'm gonna start doing another series, like a Workout Wednesday series as well. Just workouts uploaded on Wednesday that I'm gonna design from here that show you what you can do with minimal equipment, with plenty of equipment, and with zero equipment to keep you guys working out and having some good times at home so you can keep progressing. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got some inspo for your home gyms, smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. I wanna hear what you guys are setting up for this quarantine. What are you guys doing to, uh, to optimize your gym scenario at home? As always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Just don't get Peace.